of this, last summer, Second Harvest Food Bank served more than 338,000 meals to over 6,000 children. This summer, the need will only be greater. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis shows us how Second Harvest bridges that food gap for many area school children. These kids are taking part in one of Second Harvest Food Bank's nutrition education programs. Food banks were originally the source of emergency food, but education supervisor Kate McDonald says now that people are coming on a more regular basis, they need to be more aggressive in helping people to improve their lives. So we're starting to look at more of a systemic way to end hunger, and a lot of that has to do with education. McDonald says they do this with three key programs. Grocery store classes. They actually go through the store, talk about how to read labels, how to compare prices, kind of bringing people to where they're going to be purchasing that food and show them different tips and tricks on how to afford healthy food. Harvesting health, through which she and her staff create recipes that would include food items that people are getting in food pantry boxes. So people know that they can make something that's not just, you know, take out the canned corn and heat it up. You can make a corn fritter, you can make corn salsa, you can make a salad with it. Um, so knowing that there are options for people, and that, I find that empowering too. Um, because you're not just coming in and getting free food, you're coming in and you're having an experience. Okay, good job. And one of her favorite programs called Cooking Matters. Through these classes, she has worked with close to 1,400 people in its two and a half year existence. It's a six week cooking, nutrition, and food budgeting class uh, for all of our clients. We have curriculum for families and parents and kids and teens. Um, and we talk about nutrition, we talk about how can you afford healthy foods on a budget, and then we all cook together um, and eat together. And with nearly 20% of Louisiana's children facing hunger and nutrition issues, McDonald's says they make it a point to target area youth. We know that these kids might be making either snacks or dinner for themselves at home and for their, for their brothers and their sisters. So we're making sure that these kids know how to prepare simple meals that are healthy. The main goal of Second Harvest Food Bank is, of course, feeding people, but McDonald says education must go along with that food. One spoonful of this, the vegetable. At least one. Two would be the best. If we could give people the best produce and the best meats and dairy and grains, but if they don't know what to do with it and they don't know what it is or they don't know how to, you know, prepare it, we're not really doing any good. And Reporting on your side, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.